Hey, I'm just waking up after a long day at Half Moon Bay, headed back up to Clint's. If you can't tell, I'm in Northern California with Clint and Sasquatch. And uh, it's three and a half hours from Half Moon Bay back to Clint's. And I got to thank Clint. Hey, man, thank you so much for put, you know letting me stay at the house and stuff. But you guys, check out the video today. It's an awesome video. Um, it shows you a little bit of the way off, shows you the people, the festivities. Half Moon Bay is a first class act. I paid for nothing. They rolled out the red carpet, the dinner for all the growers, then a luncheon afterwards, the awards. You gotta watch this video, check this out. We have a North American record, all time North American record is weighed in this video. Please join us. I'm just a few miles south of Sam Frog's Disco, almost to Half Moon Bay. And we're gonna go to the premier way off in the world, Half Moon Bay, sponsored by Safeway Food Stores, with the potential for a world record, possibly with a $30,000 bonus, and I believe they have like $50,000 in prize money. So join us, join us for one of the biggest pay payouts, probably the biggest payout possible in the world for giant pumpkins. It's 60 degrees here, and I just drove out of 90 degree heat at Nut Tree, just two hours away. This is awesome. Please join me today. Showed up a little bit early. I wanted to scope the place out. I was looking to see where the growers, growers are possibly meeting. And I think I'm early. It's Sunday, about five o'clock. All right, here it is. I found it. Safeway Championship, way off. I don't see any pumpkins yet. There's the ice fishing shanties over there. All right, awesome. It looks totally different on TV. Looks like a nice classy setup. Half Moon Bay Art and Pumpkin Festival, October 15th and 16th. All right. All right, this is Travis's pumpkin all the way from Minnesota. All right, it's a monster. That's a beast. So I see you woke up on time, Travis. Yeah. How you doing? You got any issues? No. No? Just cleaning her up? I don't know what that is. She's probably sweating. Wouldn't you be sweating if you were about to get weighed? Yeah, right? I would. Right, guys that's a female pumpkin pumpkins are all females you'd be sweating too if you were that big and about to get weighed look at that. that's a beauty look at that thing that's a beast nice job travis Yeah, I mean, it just healed itself. It's crazy. Hey, Travis, can I get your permission yeah. to spank your pumpkin? Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations, man. I want to congratulate you ahead of time. No matter what it weighs, it's a beauty. Oh, she's a beast. You. I don't know if it's a beauty. She's but... oh yeah, it's a that's a beautiful. It's the biggest ugly pumpkin around. I don't know if it's really great for uh, media. Don't you grow no ugly pumpkin? 5.30 in the morning. This is a morning way off, which is very unusual. Typically, the way offs are at 10 a.m. This way off is at 7 a.m. California time. Right here, Steve Delitis' pumpkin. Look at that. That's a honey, too. That's a big... I think it may be a personal best for Steve Delitis, and if I'm not mistaken, he's growing them over 2,400 pounds. Former world record. We are Half Moon Bay, California. They're getting ready to... Uh, interview the man with the monster, Travis Geiger. All right. So I'll do a quick little intro and then I'll take a step into you and I'll be like, hey, this is Maverick behind us. Tell us a little about, a bit about Maverick. And I'll also ask you, you know, I know 
experience some cold weather in Minnesota, how have you been able to keep it, you know, doing that? 2,786 pounds. No way. 2,786. <laughs> you don't think it's that little? <laughs> All right. It's about maybe how big this pumpkin is. Uh, it's definitely the largest size-wise anyone's ever seen in America, but uh, I don't know, 26, 27, maybe 100 pounds. Wow, 2,700 pounds, and that's not far from the, the world record. Yeah, the world record is 2,702, so we'll see. Are you here to break the world record today? We sure hope. <laughs> I mean, that's always a shot. So yeah. yeah. And I have to ask a science question for you. Coming from Minnesota, I know you guys have experienced some cold weather. How have you been able to sort of protect this pumpkin and keep it growing up until Saturday morning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We actually had to kind of greenhouse it a couple weeks ago because we had such heavy frost. But usually, I just grow right outside, and it's it's all exposed to the elements. But yeah. Absolutely incredible. Wow. Well, we are looking forward to that way off. I know that starts in just under an hour so good luck to you Travis and your family I know you're joined by some extended family members out here so best of luck to you Travis Appreciate it. and as we've been talking about all morning long this pumpkin way off is just the beginning of a week of events to kick off their uh, arts and pumpkin festival happening this weekend that starts at nine o'clock on both days and again that way off starts this morning at seven live in half moon bay we know how land abc so right, this is travis from minnesota travis i want to make my prediction 2786 pounds okay awesome. i had a i had a premonition <laughs> and i even i even broke out my plastic card i called dion warwick psychic hotline and she told me 2786. All oh, right. Well, we'd be happy. All we'd right. Be real happy. Good luck, man. It's great meeting you. It's great meeting you for the first time. Introduce awesome. Cameron. Cameron is the, uh, are you the president? I am the president of the Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Festival Committee. Okay. And I just like to know a little bit, you know, what you guys are all about. Okay. Well, here's what we're all about. We've been doing it for 50 years now. <laughs> and uh, we're really happy. We've had to take a two year hiatus due to the pandemic and all the world stuff, but uh, we're back. We're back in force. And uh, this year we have some huge, huge pumpkins. It's possible we might even break certainly our record, but potentially a world record. So we can't wait to get these things on the scales. All right, all right. I just wanted to thank you. I want to thank you for having this and the wonderful dinner last night. I'd like to oh, shake your hand if you well, don't mind. I'm glad you had a good time. He, he, he made a wonderful dinner for us last night. We all sat around and the hospitality's been wonderful. I drove all the way from Michigan to be here and I really appreciate it, California's beautiful, Alrighty. and I'm going to come back next year with a pumpkin if the Lord's willing and the creek don't rise. Alrighty, and I want to thank you for all your videos. You have brought a lot of growers to the table. You've inspired them to grow pumpkins, and we do appreciate that. All right, thank you. Thank you. It was great meeting you. Tell me about, you said this is Maverick Top Gun. I've never seen the movie Top Gun. I really oh don't. Yeah, I really don't. Look, come I really. On. I don't. <laughs> I got to tell you something. I got to tell you something. I don't. I live under a pumpkin. But anyways, there you go. This is Maverick. The pumpkin's named after this teddy bear. Is that Tom Cruise, the teddy bear? <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Maverick. Yeah. It looks just like Tom Cruise, the bear. Yeah. There you go. No, Tom's not that cute. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's a monster, though. I like. I think it's a beautiful pumpkin just because it's so... It looks like a mountain. It looks like a mountain. That's a boulder. Boulder, Boulder Mountain. Boulder, Colorado. Yep. There you go. Wow. I, I tell you what, I think we got this. It's our vines and stuff just broke. And now, let me ask you again, Travis. How old? How many, how many days old was the pumpkin? 120. 120 days old. When I picked it, yeah. Okay. And typically, they say, you know, they'll grow 90 to 120 days is about average. Wouldn't you say? Yep. Right. Yeah. This thing, I mean, just last week we had a nice warm day. It put on a half inch around. A just half in inch? A day. Yeah. In like, one day it was still doing a half inch a day? Well, I'm just saying, like, that warm day, yeah, yeah. it seemed like it grew a half inch. Wow. I'm yeah, because I know. Tape, tape to it. When mine petered out, it was doing a quarter inch a day when it was petering out. So, anyways, that's amazing, man. This is, I just want to get a good possible world record. I think it's going to be a world record. Wow. All right. This is Steve Delitas' pumpkin. I'm going to predict it at 2380 is my prediction. That way? So 
So basically, go right. Right, right, right. Yeah. You're trusting your dad. You're trusting your dad to drive this thing, Travis. That's his truck. That's his dad's truck. Oh, yeah, but it's Travis's pumpkin. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. California or bust, baby. Time. I'm on my sixth cup of coffee. Been up since 4 a.m. This contest starts at 7. The earliest pumpkin contest in the world that I know of. All right. Please join us. We're almost ready to start. They're lined up out here on the streets. And then they're going to bring them in one by one. It's kind of more of a compact area. We're not out in a farm. We're in downtown, south end of downtown Half Moon Bay. But here they are, lining them up. There's Steve Delitas. There's Leonardo. Oh, they're taping the pumpkins, I see. I see, said the blind man, we're taping them. Uh, one of the first monsters, I know I heard they had, the first one was 51 pounds, and here comes another one. Um, this is probably around two, two and a quarter, I'm guessing. Right, in. Let's see what it weighs. Here we go. 306 pounds. All right, that's right heavy. On. That looks heavy. 306 pounds. That's got to be a thick one. They're doing the little ones, but I'm not going to do a lot of those. If you want to see little pumpkins, you can go to the, the nut tree. I did a lot of little small pumpkins for the new growers. This one here, I'm going to be more about the big pumpkins. The big pumpkins at Half Moon Bay with a possible world record. So we're going to skip a few. And then I'll come back with some more footage. Next little guy, I hate to, I don't want to belittle anybody's grow, but these are little guys when you've got a couple out there that have potential to go 2,300 and 2,600 pounds. These, please forgive me, are little guys. All right. That's a honey, though. She's a honey. $30,000 compliments at Safeway. It's thirty thousand dollars total. I'm assuming the nine dollars a pound. Okay, so here's what we got. Canceled. We got Mike Alves from Willows, California. Hey, Aaron, is this yours? Yes. That's yours. Nice. Yeah, it's a pretty pumpkin. Hey, we yes, it is. Well, good luck. Thank you. Rain falling down. Rain falling down. It's a sunshine thing. Like a song that you say, you're watering the seeds, you're pulling the weeds, and it blossoms in spring. And when the work's all through, you have a pumpkin that you grew. Driving night and day, not to have a day for a memory or two. Yeah! Awesome. All right, Jim. Beautiful, beautiful lyric. Yes, everybody here's got a great thing. Grew it from seed they bought last year. Nursed it with love and a few for the water. Throw them all night to the way right. I need some more coffee. I'm climbing up the wall. Well, Randy, we're really happy you came back to Half Moon Bay again. Can't wait to see what this one is. Here's how big they grow them in Auburn. 1,065 pounds. Right on, Randy. Woo, all right, Randy. Randy was at Nut Tree yesterday. He's one of the volunteers. Excellent, Randy. Thanks for coming down to Half Moon Bay again. Thank you. It's Travis's dad from Minnesota right there. Soon to be a celebrity. Yes, it's also for the family. It's great to come to Half Moon Bay where strutting your stuff is a-okay. I gotta go feed my pumpkins. It's the very first thing I do right here. We're getting there. Dog City. Dog City. Where's Sophie when you need her? I need my guard dog, Sophie. 
with the link this back to Sophie the Wonder Dog. You got to check out this video, folks. This dog will shut the door on request. It will sneeze on request. Check out that video. I'll link it back in the description box. They let the kids out of school today for this, huh? All right, awesome. It's a Monday. How you doing, guys? Our pros and the president of the GPC here, Cindy. And Cindy is a past champion, by the way. Absolutely. She's champion. Hello, happy day. Remember, do you remember Cindy? She rode her pumpkin in. She was sitting on top of the pumpkin and rode it in. So uh, Cindy, can you tell us a little about the GPC? Well, good morning everybody. Thank you for being here. I'm Cindy Tobeck like Cameron said. Um, the GPC stands for the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth, and it's the governing body for all giant vegetable growing in the world. And so we're kind of like the NFL, you know, for football. We maintain the rules, uphold the rules, and maintain the records. And uh, it's not just for giant pumpkins, that includes eight varieties, giant pumpkins, giant squash, mold gourds, bushel gourds, field pumpkins, giant watermelons, giant tomatoes. Um, so, the GPC is really into recognizing growers for their achievements throughout the year, but it also likes to recognize site achievements. And Half Moon Bay has the distinction of receiving a very special award from the Great Pumpkin Commonwealth. And this was an award that we wanted to send to Half Moon Bay in 2020, but COVID prevented us from doing it. But it's a very special award. It's the 2020 10 Heaviest Pumpkins Weighed at a Single Site. So in other words, Half Moon Bay has the distinction of weighing 20 of the biggest pumpkins of all time. All right. I knew we were special, Cindy. This is a very special award for a very special way off. All the big pumpkins in the world want to come to Half Moon Bay. And on this list, We've got from 1993 to 2020, a 2,143 pound average for giant pumpkins coming in our way. We've got Joel Holland with his 2,363 from Washington State. Travis Ginger with a 2,350. We've got Leonardo Urena, local Californian, with a 2,175 pounder. Steve Delitas twice with a 2174 and a 2170. Josiah Brandt from the Midwest came over with a 21300 pounder. John Hockley, Napa man, with a 2058. Ruben Frias from California with a 2017 pounder. Yours truly with a 2002. Yay. And Gary Miller from Napa, California with a 1985 rounds out the list. So, Half Moon Bay, the biggest pumpkins in the world come here and it's recognized by the great pumpkin Commonwealth. All right, we're on the map, Half Moon Bay. Nice. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks for all you do. Times. <laughs> yeah, I so. Absolutely. And what's the highest you got in the money? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I've been in the top five several times. Oh, okay. okay. I've had the biggest one here before, but it was damaged. Oh. That was an exciting day of my life that I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, I bet. <laughs> um, like, no, it's always fun, always great to come here. Did you know it was damaged or not until they picked no, it up? No, we didn't know that. Uh, oh, well, no. Actually, I've had two of them. That, that there was one when we loaded it the night before we discovered a soft spot. That was back when the world record was 1810. Right. And we scooped out the soft stuff and weighed it. And we didn't weigh the five gallon bucket and stuff. It ended up weighing 1794. There's so Russ Pews. Really, really, really oh, okay. right. And we had a, another one a couple of years after that where we did not know we had a bad spot. And Doing this. Until they lifted it up. Yeah. And, that, and that's just like. It hurts, doesn't well, it, it, it accelerates your heart rate. Yeah. 
Farmer John Easton. Well, it looks like we've got some inspection today. Congratulations, my boy. I'm sorry. We're going to see. This is Russ Pugh's pumpkin, Eugene, Oregon. How long did it take you to get down here? Oh, it was, we came to the net tree, it was about a seven hour drive here and then a couple more hours to get here. Yeah. Well, I wish you a lot of luck. We're going to see what we have here. Russ Pugh from Eugene, Oregon. Let's see what it weighs. One, two, four, seven. Right on, congrats. Very nice. This really cool tree. Look at the color of that bark. It almost looks like it's an artificial tree, but I don't think it is. Does anybody know what kind of tree that is? Please comment on the channel. And tell me what kind of tree is this. Pumpkin again. Save a horse, ride a pumpkin. Is that something like that, right? You do know how to make an entrance, <laughs> City, how many years have you been coming again? I have been coming here since 2016. I won in 2016. I just felt so much love from the community. I've been coming back every year since. Right we love having you. You're, you're good energy for us. Thank you. Yeah, I, I just love it here. I, uh, the, the community is wonderful. I feel recognized. But what I really love are the, the people who um, put on the way off. You know, they really treat the growers and honor the growers so well. I come clear from Olympia, Washington. I drove all by myself 14 hours. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And the minute I walked into the door of your restaurant last night with the growers' dinner, I just had people coming and hugging me. And, you know, we only see each other once a year, but it's such a family. Yeah, I agree. I look forward to it every year as well, seeing all of you folks come from all all around the U.S. actually. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful. Everybody's yeah. safe. So I, I, beca I won in 2016. I thought I was going to do a repeat in 2017. I brought the biggest pumpkin ever to, to Half Moon Bay for myself. It was a 2002 pounder, but my nemesis back from Washington followed me up here with an even bigger one, and I took second that year. Um, but uh, this one is what a mid-range pumpkin for okay. me. I can only okay. grow so many big ones. <laughs> now, when do you plant your pumpkin seed usually? I I pretty much start my seeds April fifteenth, tax day. I turn tax day into a, a good happy day uh, okay. by planting seeds. Um, I generally pollinate around the end of June. So at the end of June, beginning of July, this pumpkin here was about as big as a grape. A hundred days ago, this was grape size. Oh my God. In the month of August, these guys can grow 40, 50, or 60 pounds a day. Holy Toledo. All right. Getting all the ropes off. So this seed here is the 2183 Mendy. It came from my friend Ruben Mendy in Spain. And I pollinated it with the 1940 Urena, California seed. You imported your seeds from Spain? Yes. Wow. We've got a really close, tight-knit, um, giant pumpkin worldwide community. We swap right. seeds worldwide. Okay. Well, Cindy. Tobek from Olympia, Washington. Let's see what it weighs. Here we go. Whoa, one, six, seven, one. 
Nice. That went way more than what I thought. 1670. Do the toe wet. That's her patented stand on the pumpkin. All right, Cindy. A lot of people do that now. That's a lot of people great. Are, uh, copying. They're doing the toe wet. First year, Frank did it at Operation Pumpkin. Congratulations, Frank. On your new Michigan State record, And how about one more hand? She is a third grade teacher up in Washington, huh? Right on, Cindy. Thank you, Half Moon Bay. I'll be back. I'll be back, says Cindy. Congratulations. Guys. If they could lift their fork lips high up. This is a great photo op, by the way, folks. So we do have three pumpkins. We've got Bettina Andalina from Woodside. That is the first one you're seeing. In the middle, we have Andy and Carrie Mitchell from Walnut Creek. And we have Heather Orange from Half Moon Bay. Yeah, these all look terrific. Get your photos. All righty, if you guys can lower those, please. Okay. I'm going to ask that the first one over here on the left, Freddie, uh, we're going to lift that one up. This one is Bet Bettina Andalina from Woodside, California. And let's do an applause meter thing. Yeah. Okay, we've got judges up on the stage that are reading the meter. Okay, if you could lower that one, please. The applause meter is an app on our iPhone, by the way, if you believe that. And then, Danny, if you could lift yours all the way. This is Andy and Carrie Mitchell of Walnut Creek. All righty, thank you so much. And next. We have Heather Orange of Half Moon Bay. Okay, thank you, John. All righty, let me uh, get the judges' input. One moment. Unfortunately, we have a tie at the moment. I'm going to have to ask Andy to put his, his up. Andy and Carrie Mitchell of Walnut Creek, applause. Okay, and John, if you could lift yours up. Heather Orange of Half Moon Bay. And the winner of the Joe Cochet Most Prettiest Pumpkin is going to receive $1,000. And that is from Half Moon Bay, Heather Orange. Yay. Congratulations. Very nice.
Mustard. Ice cream. Pumpkin milkshake. Here they come. We're getting them around the corner of the final four. friends. Why don't we go ahead and start over here with John. John, could you lift yours up? These are our four biggest pumpkins, obviously. This is Gary Miller from Napa, California's Pumpkin. And next, the next one, please. Ruben Frias from Napa, California. The third one, Danny, uh, Steve Galitas from Oregon. Four time winner, Steve Galitas. And past grand champion, number four, Melvin. Go ahead and lift that thing up. We got Travis Kringer from Minnesota. There's a photo op for you. Teddy bears on there. The top gun teddy bear still riding. Whoa. Tom Beautiful. Cruise hasn't bit the dust yet. So we're going to weigh these in order. And, uh... I believe it was 2013, wasn't it, Gary? Lucky 13? Okay, there you go. Oh, so nice. Okay, say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm live. All right, yeah, 2013. Uh, how much did your pumpkin weigh back then? Do you remember? 1985. 1985. Okay. Just, just like yesterday. Just like yesterday. Did you already spend that money? Yeah, never you know mind. what? <laughs> right now I'm worried about where my pumpkin was. I was looking for it. I think it got eaten by Steve DeLise. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is exciting, Gary. Let's see what your pumpkin weighs. From Napa, California, Gary Miller. Here we go. One, four, one, one. 1,411 pounds. Excellent. Here comes Ruben Frias. He's next. You see Ruben, he was at Nut Tree. They're down there uh, manipulating the straps. little slower operation than your average pumpkin way up they don't seem to be in a hurry here to try to be productive which is fine it's once a year let's take our time and smell the roses here we go Reuben good luck Reuben for you the judges are gonna look underneath there just to make sure everything's healthy and good Uh, just, uh, the second one, no, like, 
Holy Toledo. This is a big one. Okay, we have Ruben Frias here from Napa, California. Ruben, how many times have you come down here to visit us in Half Moon Bay? I've been here since 2012. Yeah, that's, that's a lot of whales. All right. And have you been in the money before? Yeah. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, I think you're going to be in some money here as well. So, folks, let's see what Ruben Frias has cooked up in Napa County. Let's see what we got. Here we go. Yeah, we try to freeze the scale, but sometimes we don't get it quite right. 83 men die seed. When I found out is Leonardo's brother-in-law. All right, nice guys. I had dinner with them last night. Awesome guys from Napa. Keep the latest over there. Biting his fingernail. Again, we're at the department and measures. It's in line waiting. Awesome. Good luck, Steve. You guys are getting what you're paying for. It's Dog City. Dog City. I was an old man when I came here. Oh, Steve Delitas. They're raising his pumpkin. They're checking the bottom to see if it's a flat bottom girl or if there's any holes in it that would DQ it. But there, that is a big pumpkin. It has a 200 and 53 inch circumference. I watched them when they taped it out there. And here she comes. She's hopefully she's a flat bottom girl. We make the pumpkin world go round. Good luck, Steve. The pumpkin has a flat bottom, not concave. Sometimes they concave and you lose a couple hundred pounds. So it's a flat bottom girl. I was told by some that this is a family festival, but I think by today's standards that's pretty mild. What's that? Queen yeah, 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 you're right. That's right, man. That's right. Rock and roll. Freddie Mercury. Here we go. Now your biggest nightmare is you pick them up and the bottom's all concave and you lost 300 pounds. What's that? Surface area on this thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Sure. All right. Well, this is certainly exciting. I have Steve Delitas here. Oh, this thing's probably he drove all the way down from Oregon. Pounds. Steve, that welcome. Welcome, welcome. Now, what many of you may or may not know, Steve's already won this contest four times. He won in 2001, 2003, 2015, and 2018. In 2018, his pumpkin was 2,170 pounds. And I think you're going to beat that. I have a feeling. Don't you? How long did it take you to drive down here? About 11 hours this time. 11 hours? Okay. All right, my friend. Is everyone excited? You want to see what this one is? All righty, Steve. Here we go. pounds, Steve Delitas from Pleasant Hill, Oregon. Nice! Going up now with the Travis Ginger. He told me he pronounces his name like Singer, but with a G, so it's Ginger. So now I know how to pronounce it. There you go. 
you know if anybody could mess up the pronunciation of the word Bubba can. Here we go. So we're happy to be in there hanging with the big shooters, but I thought I'd get a better video out here. There's Ron Root and Leonardo and Nick Kennedy, Gary Miller, Cindy Lou Who. They're getting ready to lift. Travis Gingers. Monster baby. It, it reminds me of the Rocky Mountains I drove and through. It, inspecting on the other way out. part. Yes, they do to all of them. That's a Rocky this Mountain a big, pumpkin, baby. Bad pumpkin. By appearance. I wonder if it has a flat bottom. I wonder if she's a flat bottom girl. If you didn't know, all pumpkins are females. The male never becomes a fruit. The male flower dies off, the female flower becomes a pumpkin. A little trivia for you. Off. I have the grower up on stage here with me, Travis Ginger. He drove here all the way from Minnesota. <laughs> yep, and Travis has been a winner before. He was a winner in 2020. His pumpkin weighed 2,350 pounds. And um, the only thing I have to ask you right now, Travis, is how much gas did you s have to get on the way down here from Minnesota? How much? It was about an $1,100 trip just to get out here. Yes. $1,100 here and maybe maybe only 1000 to get back, right? <laughs> well, that's awesome. I, I hope you win just so you can get gas money. I really do. Uh, that's incredible. Now, I know last time you named your, your pumpkin Tiger Lily, I believe. Ti Tiger King. Yeah. Tiger King. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then what did you name this one? This one's called Maverick. If you see all those scars up there, we dropped a five gallon bucket of dirt on it on day five when it was this big. So that when you're looking at all the scars that have healed over thousands oh, of pounds. Wow, wow. Well, that's really cool. We're so happy to have you and your family. And I understand you have a little girl now. Yeah. Lily? Lily? Lily. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay, well, I know everyone is just dying to see this. Get your cameras ready, folks. Here we go. Travis Ginger of Minnesota. Here we go. Three, five, six. Oh, wow. All right, he's the winner. Congratulations. Not a world record like I thought it would be. That is the largest pumpkin ever grown in North America, right here in Akron Bay. Travis, you are the man. So this pumpkin weighs 2,560 pounds times nine bucks a pound. Travis, you got gas money. Up here, Travis. Yeah, get your family up here for photos. Congratulations, Travis. Awesome job. Well worth the drive.
Congratulations, my friend. We're so happy you've come here. Alrighty. So, you guys, uh, we're at the big winner. Yes, the biggest pumpkin in Half Room Bay. Yes, the biggest pumpkin in San Mateo County. Yes, the biggest pumpkin in California. But guess what? It's the biggest pumpkin in the United States of America ever. But he just won again. And he's, yes, he's going to get a check, and that's incredible, and we're really happy. But he's also going to get the Mel Mello jacket. And I have here to present this Mel Mello and Danny Mello, the sons. The fathers passed away. He was mayor of our town many, many, many times and on this committee. So we honor him. So you are going to get this jacket. So, the grand prize winner is weighing in at 2,560 pounds, America's record. We need to call Guinness Book of Records, by the way. I'm telling you. Anoka, Minnesota. He's going to receive 2,000. No, no, no. 23. <laughs> Minus 18,000. <000. laughs> He's going to win. It's nine bucks a pound. Let me just say that. I'll just start by saying that, okay? 2,560 pounds. $23,040. <laughs> And here to present the check is Gregory Patton of Safeway. Mel and Danny Mel are putting the jacket on him, the honorary jacket. Yeah. This is a big moment, you guys. This is a record for America. short of 
a miracle what you guys pull off in the event itself, just first class. So thank you guys for the hospitality. Amen. 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 All right, Travis, we couldn't be happier. We're so happy you won. This is great, great family shot. I'm gonna ask everyone to stay on stage.